what is up i'm wanted turtle and today we are doing another mail day video so kind of alternating between psa returns and mail day um let's say we got some singles tga psa and cgc uh we'll start with some tga and um yeah i actually encourage everyone so tga cheap grading service but the value add is nowhere near as significant as psa and a little less uh, further down the line cgc but the which in turn means you can get the cards at pretty good prices so i encourage you just do a quick ebay search for pokemon tga just sort by ending soonest auction and i feel like you get some really good deals to start we have a gem mint um rainbow nessa uh so big fan nessa and um you know i, I do prefer the fallout versus the rainbow but i feel like i don't remember the exact price uh, but I feel like this is like significantly cheaper than the PSA 10, which, you know, uh, I don't know if PSA 10 is equal to gem mint or 9.5 TGA, but you know, they both considered, they consider it gem mint. Uh, so happy to pick that up. And then we just, again, I just sorted by ending soonest and it's like, all right, I'll put a low bid on this. And if I get it, cool. If I don't, I really don't care. <laughs> and I picked up a bunch of cards. So nice Flareon. Uh, so I actually do think I will complete the classic collection um, 9 slash 9.5 I think the Charizard I graded came back a 9 unfortunately so I'll be flexible on that one uh, But I do think I'll complete that set via TGA just because yeah, I can pick them up real cheap uh, So we got the Groudon for 9.5 And we've got some just random cards EX Unseen Forces, a Fortress, a base set Pikachu, sure why not? Um, you know, I, I think it's like, I'll pick up commons and stuff like that for like base starters and Pikachu. And, uh, you know, when the price is right, um, I don't care for, you know, getting PSA 10 or necessary gem mint. It's like, all right, well, I can pick this up for $10. Sure, why not? It costs more to grade the card. Uh, we got a Mawile, random card. Then we got another starter with the Bulbasaur. And yeah, I actually think this one came with uh, this Venusaur from Pop Series 2. I actually really like that art. And uh, let's see, the numbers, no, they're not consecutive. Wait, it, maybe it was this Bulbasaur. <laughs> we got another base set Bulbasaur. And two, four, oh, these Bulbasaurs were consecutive, but not this one. Ah, eh, whatever. We got a, a Rishi Ram. I do like the Rishi Ram in the Zekrom. Uh, so this one, only a nine, but it did come with this pristine 10 for the Zekrom. Very nice. So this one I'm confident would get a PSA 10. But you know, Classic Collection is so modern and so much of it was opened. And it's like, I just want it in a slab. So I feel like TGA is the perfect middle ground between getting the cards and like, you know, not caring about the grading service because you know, I, I doubt they'll go too high anytime soon. And um, yeah, Full Art Supporters, super cheap, especially when they're not perfect. Uh, so I probably picked this up for like less than 10 bucks or something. And then I think these two came together. Anytime you can get a e-reader, a solid e-reader for a super cheap price, I'll usually take it. And then a Jump Up EX Rockets Return. Uh, so that's the TGA cards. Set these up here. Uh, let's just go through some raw cards that we picked up uh, almost certainly through Whatnot. Uh, still pretty fun. I, I try to find just, you know, random streams that are selling you know, not nothing mystery, uh, just like these one-off stuff. So we got some more of these pocket monsters need to recreate that set. Uh, ooh, a nice Arceus Charizard. And um, yeah, sometimes you can get some really good deals. Uh, some seller were just going through a bunch of top stuff. I actually have very, you know, it's not nowhere near the top of my list, but hey, if I can pick these up for like a dollar, two dollars each, um, I'm pretty sure none of them cost more than five per card. And, uh, you know, eventually fi finish that Pokedex. I'll be happy with that. Some random car trainer cards. Oh, Evo Charizard. Very nice. Off center. And then we got some, I'm not sure if these are just Hollow or Top Scrum. I have, actually have no idea which set this is from. A random Jirachi. And, um, yeah, so just happy to, I'm not even going to organize these. I'll just set them back in a pile of stuff to go through later on. But, uh, you know, it's a good start to kind of completing the Pokedex. All right, what else we got? We got some PSA cards. Oh, small. And, um, yeah, sometimes you get absolute... This was probably, like, the best buy. I don't remember how much it costs, but um, 
I feel like these, some of these, uh, you know, er, pre-2020 promos were, it's actually pretty hard to get the Gem Mint 10. Um, they're actually going for pretty high prices, and I got this, I don't know, I, I think it's fine to call it a steal. So I was really happy with that, we'll put this right here. And then we've just been, I think, I'm not sure if I bought this off TCA. Um, these winners, uh, these best ofs, you know, I don't know. I, I can't say it's that important for me to complete the set, but we just picked up a couple of those. That's it for PSA. And now let's go to some CGC. A Pikachu, just a random promo. I think this is actually just a card from an English set. Uh, we did get a gem mint of the Vivid Voltage Full Art Pikachu. I feel like there's so many Pikachu V Maxes at this point that's kind of saturated, and then this one, uh, you know, the, the non rainbow, but the one from Vivid Voltage, um, actually quite cheap. I do really like these cards. Uh, so, this in, in Japan, it came out as the what, Tag All Stars, and the set never came out in English, and then they printed some of these as promos. I think the Russian's Art and the Pikaram. Uh, so, I don't think there's like a Mew 3 one yet. Wonder what they're going to, or if they're going to print that, and um, yeah, you know, so so like it's 8.5, and I feel like you know maybe just their print quality wasn't great, but you know not not perfect. But when they're like twenty dollars, and it's like the box itself costs fifty, sure has some packs, but um, and it's already graded for you. I will take that all day. Lima, <laughs> random base first edition. I don't have any. This might be my first graded base first edition common but i was a fan of always a fan of pidgey i feel like pidgey has a special place in my heart oh man this thing's beat up uh from the original game boy game i think the first time i played i went charmander so brock was actually pretty tough so i kind of just cheesed it by using pidgey sand attacking a bunch of times and then gusting <laughs> his pokemon down uh hidden fates you know, these were, again, these were just super cheap and I think like 10 bucks or something for Gem Mint Baby Shinies and like, I don't know, CGC set of Hidden Fates probably isn't in my future, but whatever. A Shadowless Gyarados. I definitely probably will do base set, all the base set at some point. Uh, whether or not I get the Shadowless, probably not, but it's always good to just check some of those off the list. And then our last card is... The stained glass birds. Um, I'm actually, I should didn't pick up a lot of these, but I picked up a few of these. Uh, I feel like, you know, years down the line, I, I I see this art as so unique. I kind of, it's like the modern um, ancient Mew card. It's just so that that much different. Um, so happy to pick these up. You know, as far as ETBs, this is like. Many, many, uh, many times over my favorite. Uh, so that's going to be it for this mail day. Yeah, I'm just kind of grabbing a stack of graded cards, a stack of raw cards. And it's like, all right, let's just do a quick mail day. And then as the PSA cards come, keep coming in, we'll keep releasing some videos. And that's going to be it for me today. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment down below if you have any thoughts. You know, what PSA versus CGC versus TJ, what are your thoughts? For me, I feel like, yep, the value isn't as much there for CG, CGC and less, even less so for TGA. But that also means you can get the same card or same condition card for a much cheaper price, which signed me up. So that's my own thought. Thanks for watching. I'm Wanna Turtle. I'll catch you all next time. Peace.